continue our challenge run today. It's starting to get a little bit nasty. We're really starting to notice the lack of classes. Okay. I remember days when the sun shone. Right. Level 5 Shrieker spawns that are level 3 characters. Totally pointless. It needs to be fixed. That is, as far as I'm concerned, a bug. Morning, Kate. Hey, Aqua. Hey, uh, Redaku. Hey, uh, Shigarath. So what do we have? We have a small number of infestations. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay, two or three or something. Somehow, 100% of our bounty hunters are infected, but whatever. Hello, Matter. Uh, and we've got... I think this is another week with the sanitarium. We got shitty loot. I am potentially considering starting the Baron, but we don't have enough invitations to do it in one, or do it uh, immediately. And we don't have more than one invitation right now, so we probably won't do the Baron quite yet. We're probably going to end up running some shit missions here. I really need to level the Cove, but the Cove is being very, very reluctant to give me missions I can run. It's now giving me a level 5. Of course, I don't even have level 5 characters, so that's basically impossible right now. So, pretty dumb. Uh, some channel announcements, which I need to do again soon. Uh, I need to do it a little bit later today, but let's do it now while we have uh, the, the, those of you who are here first. Um, we have D&D &D up from yesterday. We have um, the Jester Guide review came out today, Jester Class review. Uh, PKA is up uh, also from yesterday. Uh, recorded Thursday but posted on Saturday. Uh, the PKA episode's up. And we are doing a collaboration with Joanne Ribs again uh, this afternoon, evening, uh, around 3 p.m. Uh, stream time. So, a lot of good stuff still going on. Um, a lot of the same similar announcements from yesterday, but if you didn't catch them yesterday, they're here for you today. So what are we doing now? We kill the level 3 Swine King. Kill the 8 pounder. 8 pounder is not a bad kill here. This is almost useless. It's very, very useless to pick up this thing. I'm not even sure I'd bring it on the final boss, but whatever. Uh, we could pick that up. We could get a buff for the 8 pounder. It's fine. The item's kind of crap. And I do need to level primarily the cove right now. That's what I need to level. Starting to fill out our deeds. Which means we can start thinking about a district before too much longer. But I really, I think, I think now having played through the Crimson Court DLC like three times or something, I'm starting to think that districts for me are coming about right after I get level four weapons, level four skills, and level four weapons. At that point, I seem to get a little bit of breather before I need level five stuff. And we've just reached that point, so we have a chance now to pick up uh, some districts if we want, which seems pretty go pretty decent for us. And our um, week limit is not great right now. 30 out of 100 seems a lot for where we're at to me. Um, it does start slow. But we have a lot of low-level guys. It's a lot of level 1s and level 2s in here, and we need to get those levels taken care of. So we got to find some green missions to take care of uh, before we continue on with the orange and reds uh, as soon as possible. So. so that's where we're at. That's the recap. The daily recap. So really, we should be looking at one of these, preferably. This is a fucking gather mission. So I guess we should do a level 1 boss fight. It'd be nice if my grave robber were a little bit higher level, but I think we, we could probably make it up. Make it okay. We're in Cosmic Jive. Ah, uh, Dire Venom. I think, yeah, I'm hoping the XCOM 2 Long War 2 stuff will be... A good supplement in the meantime. Because that stuff is really fun. Bounty Hunter is decent in this fight. And we need a frontliner. We need a frontliner that can hit position 3 4. You know what that is? That's a Hellion. We just hew, hew, hew our way through. It's really an option. Sad, sad little option. Okay. Huh? 
What's all the... All the uh, YouTube comments today. Alright, so let's say we bring this. This is a disturbing lack of level 2 characters. We do have one level 2 character. Still fucking fragile. Sure would be nice to get rid of that. Maybe I bring the other bounty hunter. It's going to have less damage. No, I don't have Demomania getting locked in. Go. Okay. Oh, just kill the front two super fast? Right, on the cannon mission. Just kill the cannon. It's, it's fine. We'll just kill the cannon, then we'll get to the, the, match, the match guy afterwards. He's game. Okay. So this is going to be... This is a bit, bit of a subpar comp for the wield. Um, we have a lot of direct damage uh, and not a lot of dot damage in a uh, in a location that has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, high protection mobs and additionally we have a lot of characters that don't do well with bleeding and the wheel tends to bleed us or blight us quite a bit so this is not ideal honestly but it is level one cannon so we can be a little bit uh, less worried about that so if that's who we're gonna bring let's take a look what we have we're gonna actually want he won this fight And I, of course, want Click Bounty, Uppercut, Flashbang, finish him. I'm in position two. I may even run Caltrips for this mission. <laughs> Could have picked this up. But I think right now I want to save up for a district. Alright, Cosmic Jive wants a lunge, pick to the face, flashing daggers, shadow fade, and thrown dagger here. And an atrocious gamer. We're gonna be in position three, right? Stab abyssal artillery. And if I'm feeling real paranoid on this boss, I'd rather be paranoid. Oh, level of uh, demons pull too. We're gonna have to change around a lot of skills before we actually engage with the boss. All right, grab some stuff. Looks decent. Let's take a look at the sanitarium. What? I thought we had two free weeks in a row of sanitarium. What the fuck happened to my other free sanitarium? Do we use it? Doing well, Zeister. Why well, reveal the top five team compositions that can kill anyone something like this? Uh, no, probably not. All right, well, whatever. Let's uh, let's assume that we actually did do the sanitarium stuff. Good morning, Zylo. Uh. Let's take a quick look at who needs to be sanitized. I would like to get rid of Fear of Beasts on Kate. Runesphobe on LA Genie. Demomania on Donnelly. Alright. Thing is, annoyingly. Well, I gotta get Donnelly's stuff taken care of so I can bring them out again. Um, at the moment, it means I can't put anyone else in here or spread the infection. So let's just get rid of it. Because we're not gonna get particularly good utilization of the sanitarium this week. Which is a bit annoying for me. Unless Torxer needs something. Witness isn't that big a deal. And the only other infected is on our mission. Okay. So let's take a look at stress relief. These two both could use it, and Aqua is a maybe at 39. 39 we can probably handle without it. But 63 is getting a little bit high, as is uh, 61 on a level one who wants to go back. So Kerman needs to be taken care of. Let's go here. And we'll probably do LA Genie as well. So that's twenty two fifty. What is the cost of a tap of a gambling? Eighteen. 
still cheaper. Do you actually want all of that gone though? No. Okay. Fine. Looks good. Like to do some more antiquarian runs when I can. Uh skills until we get there. Don't need plan takedown here. Some good ones. I think we're missing really is camping protection. So that's 9 11, 12 for Pilfer. Alright. Let me get behind that. Let's take a look at items. Alright. Human damage is what we care about. And accuracy. I would love to pick up another focus ring. We should keep our eyes out for that. Our eyes open for that. Boss, I think it's going to be the hardest. I don't know. I think there's a lot. V Wolf's going to be really, really challenging without protection. I think level 5 Prophet's going to be a little sketchy. Uh, we might be able to just debuff him down, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, I think um, the flesh is going to be fucking terrifying since that is all about uncontrolled massive amounts of damage and dots across all your characters, which really means you want an AoE healer. We don't have AoE healers. There's a lot of stuff that sounds pretty terrible. What do you mean minus 4 disease? Oh, it's wasting. Okay. Uh, give me a little bit of speed, but I need damage here, so I might take just a little bit higher stress getting to the boss for better boss damage. Accuracy, crit chance, or actually in damage rather. Speed and damage. Speed and damage. We're going to have an accuracy buff on the left when we get there. We're going to have an accuracy stuff, uh, buff on the minute, uh, the bounty hunter when we get there. What's the hit percentage difference between flashbang and his regular attack? There is a plus accuracy bonus on that. I wish I had spoken a little bit more about those in the guide videos. I didn't, uh, in part because... Uh, I didn't want to go into the time limit for each of these, but I was already talking about the skills. Might have been worth talking about which ones are super accurate, which would have been nice. Um, stun resist, or stun ability, rather. And then our healer, who is only partially a healer, really. Would also love some accuracy. There's the reckless charm, yeah, reckless charm. What are we going to do with that? Speed and a Reckless Charm or Scouting Chance? We don't have any wield stuff. The Warren's Explorer. If you're running double Warren's Explorer in the wield, that's fucking helpful. Alright, we're going to run uh, Seer Stone. Okay. Uh, let's turn on the correct skills. We need to change skills up when we get to the, the boss land. Caltrops off accuracy, 100. So it's in between the two. Right. That's what we're bringing. <sighs> yes, chat, need blood. Let's just get that inventory now. How uh, do we have camping skills with you? Uh, 
How's that look? Looks all right. We have a lot of trouble with position four. All right, let's do it. It's still level one boss. I'm not expecting it to be the hardest thing ever. Got a lot of speed buffs. One, two, three speed buffs. I hate slowing down the occultist, but I do need uh, the scouting. I suppose I could run this until. But no, I want the I want the the, the leper starting on a lot of stress, and I am gonna want to stress heal him across the course of the next uh, couple fights. Simple folk are by their nature loquacious, and the denizens of the hamlet were no exception. It was not long before rumors of my morbid genius and secretive excavations began to fuel local legend. In the face of my increasingly egregious flaunting of public taboos, awe turned to ire, and demonstrations were held in the town square. The smell of sulfur and gunpowder hangs in the air. The war machine is close. One, two, three, four, five. Can be either of those sides. Okay. Oh, he's wasting. I should get that fixed immediately. Confidence surges as the enemy. And I just immediately forgot to do it again. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Not a big deal. We'll just waste to death. Not died in silly curses. Let's keep these guys just we're just trying to prolong. Farming crits on the occultist with the low damage ability. We're not healing him because I don't want to put on bleeds and he's already got a fuck ton of bleeds abilities. Lost around there. Should be stunnable again. Looks like this one. Okay. Thanks, Dougie Fresh. How <laughs> laid back and chill I am. <laughs> Many people don't think that, but uh, yeah, for right now, it's definitely been very chill. Alright. Get another round after this, or two rounds after this. Keep this stress coming down if we can. Good, it's good. We have till the end of round six to kill him. Should be easy days. Tempted to heal him, but it's probably gonna be a bigger bleed than it is to heal. Ten is fine. Can we just the bleed as well, that's perfect. And here we run into the problem of the leper. There's no way we can get a stun off. I think we just kill it with the lunge right now. Fish for a crit. Yep. So Leper's last. I'd love to have stress healed once more, but he's last in the round. Did get the stress down a lot, though. But a victory nonetheless. So that should help set us up for success versus the boss. I'd love a scouting ping, but not given to us. Check both the Vs. We might not be this way. We can be back this way, so we can check the intro uh, corridor. And then head back down towards the boss area. Okay. 
All right. Uh, let's dumpster the dog, or leave it at one whenever it's more convenient for you. So that is a 80% chance to hit, and that's 85. Well, we rolled on the higher accuracy and still missed. That's unlucky. Do we hew, hew, hew our way to victory? I don't think so. I think we would stand. And then we'll uh, kill it with the vulnerability hex. Their formation is broken. Quitters never win. 30 months, what do you win? You win an entire stream of Filthy Robot. Thank you very much for the resub, TNC. And if you uh, stay around a little bit later today, you also get to see some Joanne Ribs. Alright, are we doing on stress? Down to zero, good. It's not like having a real stress healer, but it is still convenient to be able to heal some stress. Should be able to kill these skeletons whenever we want now. Not in a good position to do that here, but... Sure, let's set up for some big bounty hunter numbers. Who wants to see big numbers? Oh, I can't big number from position three though. Yes, I can. Another one falls. Big number. The value. We overkilled him by two and a half times. So two counts for something. EP, I'm pretty sure. Brigands. Okay. Stun there would have been fine too, but I was hoping to double kill the back. I haven't quite yet done that, but with uh, Leopard's rank 3 ability. Nah, totally fine with that. Shoot the Leper. Joke's on you. Don't really mind the Leper hitting shot. I don't think I want to heal with the Occultist. I think I would rather do damage with the Occultist and heal with the Leper. Okay. Well, I thought he resisted the stun. He resisted the move. That's fine. Can I do 23 points of damage before he acts? Yes, I can. He's got his minus speed debuff. It's pretty likely it just happens now. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened. Man, that leper's damage is super helpful so far when we spent every single round stress healing or healing. Quitters never win. So we got that one intimidate off. So uh, we take his huge damage base and we subtract 85% of it. And then uh, we're like, yes, the big numbers. So that's pretty good. Matter, welcome back. It has been a long time. 30 months. 30 long months of pain and suffering. Welcome back, Matter. What do we have for bleeders this? 50, 45, 70. Oh, because he just healed himself. I suppose it's time that he opened this up then. Okay. Uh, we have quite a few uh, shovels at the moment. This should be fine. That's some stuff I want to. Um, citrine's pretty shit. This hood is pretty shit. But it might be better than what we have. I guess I'll drop the anti venom. Finding the stuff is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. Okay. Yeah, we're role playing. That was lore. The grave robber dug up the grave. Did not get a scout for the boss, which is a little bit unpleasant. I do have a bandage. I was kind of saving it for next fight, but I guess I could just use it here. Alright, what do we have here? Some stuns? Some damage? Some damage. Very nice. Oh, Leopard, can you do it? 1 to 3 is your damage range. I must confess I don't believe. Ah, valiant effort. But 
you've given our party 17 stress. Quad dodge is amazing. What do you press with a torch increase? T. T for torch. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Oh, had what? Uh, excellent, Tierly for me. I'm really, really, really nice of you to say that. Glad to hear. A victory. Perhaps the turning point. Alright. Two more deeds. I absolutely want those. Why am I hoarding medicinal herbs? It's a question I don't have an answer. Oh, because of this curio over here? Yep, we were just holding on to that till we got this curio. Not so much for the food, although this will allow us to bring ourselves to full health ahead of the boss fight. But mostly because we wanted... Oh, wait, just the food. Gold. Yep, just the food. Marbles. Just want to be able to uh, full heal before the boss fight, of course. Blood. That's funny. I almost brought a holy water, but I'm like, nah, that curio is pretty rare. We won't have inventory space. All right, damage there. Damage there. Oh, I have to make a decision. We'll be there. Artillery. Yeah. yeah. Stress casters. Give me holy water. I want holy water out of the loot table on this. It seems fair and reasonable. Had better heals. Eradicated. Get an extra round out of this. No more bleeding, please. Good. Let's just finish with the crit. Decimated. Nice. That was not holy water, unfortunately. Did get a scout ping so we can see where the boss is. Excellent. Boss is south. Now let's wander up this way. Disarm some traps. Bunny Hunter's at 100 as well, so that's stress curing. We'll go back and camp. Craving, that's perfect. Mm, all right, a bit worried that while he's craving, I think I have to boost him from craving right now into bloodlust and then camp. Gathered close. I think otherwise it does damage to him. Easy okay, so what do we want? We want accuracy. Yes. We don't need the stress relief, so that's fine. So we'll run reflection for three. This is how we do it for six. Dark strength for eight. Use us four. We can encourage him after dark strength. Could even like unspeakable commune. Alright, fine. I should have taken that off, but it doesn't actually matter because... Uh, oh no, I didn't have the room. So, and I deliberately chose not him because reflection. I was going to say it doesn't matter because reflection is going to give me it back anyways. Um, Alright, so that's six. Then we're going to run dark strength. Here. And we're gonna run. This is how we do it here. We'll 
We'll run a single pilfer for a holy water. No, nope, we're going to give the torch back and take a holy water. Um, see, do I even care about that? Yeah, I do. I care about fragile. I care about that a lot. Okay. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and rest. We gotta change our skills over before we get there. Is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. What do I think of the Crimson Court DLC layout? I think the layout is unnecessarily long. This gives it potentially a bleed. I don't really want to bleed going into this fight. I'll just leave it for the way out. Rip the blockage. Herself. A victim to All right, the let's sort out skills. Malformed with misintent. Uh, I'm gonna turn off with Stan for Hugh for this fight. Uh, these fight, these abilities are fine. These abilities are not okay. Ooh, no sacrificial stab either. Didn't really think about that. That means it's only artillery and pull. It's fucking sketchy as shit. Our modest fellowship expands. Praise the sub. Thing is, for the grave robber to be using uh, thrown daggers, or not thrown daggers, um, flashing daggers, it requires that I be in position three. Oh no, position four. Okay, never mind. Nope, I'm just wrong. I thought this was a position three, uh, three two ability only, but it's not. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. Welcome, Nayer99. Thanks for the sub. <laughs> Thanks, a deeply troubled individual. Alright, so we probably don't need pick to the face here. So what do we actually want? We probably want Thrown Dagger, Flashing Daggers, Shadow Fade, Lunge. Here we want our Stab, plus our Artillery. And I don't really want Vulnerability Hex, I want Demon's Pull. It does do single target damage. Less damage than this, but potentially if it's not enough to kill it with the Artillery, I could pull it into range of maybe the Leper. Although it's unlikely the Leper will go after the Pull. Alright. How are the items doing? don't have accuracy here but we are running an accuracy buff so that should be fine we have accuracy and damage have accuracy have accuracy and damage it's about as good as we're gonna get all right let's put the torch up we have full health we are okay a marvel of technology an engine of destruction an engine of destruction uh, I do want to clean out the crap to begin with. Destroyed. So let's start doing that. Especially on the level 1 fight where it's not going to respawn particularly quickly. Back to the pit. The ground quakes. It's a great spawn for us. Uh, can we AoE that guy down? What's the damage range on you? Minus 40% of what? So 60% of that is not enough on the low end. I guess I just kill it. Be gone, fiend. Uh, awkward. <laughs> so awkward, in fact. With no pick to the face and not being in position 3, I can't actually do damage to a front rank cannon. Don't really want to be lunging here. Yeah, it was fucking awkward as shit that run. Also didn't really want to kill that guy, but whatever. Alright, do a little bit more things here.
another abomination cleansed from our lands. Good. Getting a little paranoid about clicking the speech bubbles to make it go faster after yesterday's fiasco where we accidentally re-entered the room. Not quite enough. That was fairly easy. At home amongst the headstones. Let's continue on. We're gonna backtrack quite a bit. It's a fight and some loot if we want it. Let's go see what curio it is. I'm not against taking a couple fights while we're in this area because potentially I might pick up a holy water. Should fix my uh, abilities after this too. Tossed anti venom, but we do have a key. We get this on the way back. We're gonna fight the room battle and move back this way. Three ectoplasms. Pretty tough room battle. I doubt any of us will make it out alive. No loot out of it. But a fight did spawn. This is the holy water fight that spawned. Two ectoplasms. Give me holy water. You know your role. Your role is holy water. Ectoplasms come bearing holy water. Fuckers. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Let's go for the high loot rolls. Damn. Uh, probably don't need this for food. I say as I get a food ping the next fucking tile. Nothing of value on the body. It's disappointing. Alright, we know this curio is here. I promise we're... It's going to be very unlikely we have enough food to get back to the Curio after we've left it. Quitters never win. Which is very disappointing, because my bounty hunter really, really would like uh, something a little bit better than that. Welcome back, Mad273. Thanks for the resub. Man, 21 months. Seems a long time. Could be a shambler. Second food ping in about one fucking corridor. What do we get? Double ectoplasm. Give the kill to the occultist for stress healing. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow ah, tossing that food. Killer. Apparently was the, the critical error here. We're not gonna be able to make it back to that curio. <laughs> Chat wants shambler, uh huh. Oh, I'm glad you've been liking the uh, glass review. We'll pump up light next uh, when we enter. There's my last food. There is food potentially available there, but we've already camped. I don't really want a disease. So that means we're pretty close to going home then. There's the scout ping I wanted. 
Curio or room battle? Is it worth risking a corridor for this? Probably. It's gonna be holy water, of course. All right. Double acolyte. It's not real sweet. So a lot of stress is gonna come out of this. Eh, not if we dodge it, though. A decisive. Could have killed the one that hadn't acted. But I was hoping I'd get that instead. Leper being a leper. It's now a chance he gets to act again. Kind of sucks. Just about to say don't crit my occultist. But the ectoplasm. Being a dick. Uh, I'd like to guarantee that kill. Don't do it! He's thinking about critting him again, I can tell. A little bit more cash. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Should have waited for the ping first, but that's okay. Alright, I don't really want to risk another corridor right now. I think we're fine. Uh, I didn't get as much loot as we wanted, but we did come out of uh, killing the boss as well as uh, uh, leveling up some level ones.